Hey everybody! Boy, we got a different show today. I have been asked by a good friend of mine, Ed Hazel, to come with him down to his hunting property, I think in Georgia. A couple different places. But we're going to go catch some snakes. We're going to try. For those of you that don't know me that well personally, I have a lot of years of experience dealing with reptiles. Uh, some dear friends of mine will see this video and realize that this is totally me and who I am. But there are a lot of you don't know that I specialized in reptiles for a long time. Used to do a lot of education. Um, did a lot of shows for kids, camps, churches, and etc. With a, uh, a shout out to my buddy David Pollard. And uh, we did a lot of that together back years gone by. We did a lot of collecting. We did a lot of uh, raising different snakes and stuff. But anyway, that's part of my background. And of course it applies to the outdoors because uh never been and caught a whole lot of snakes inside so anyway crick chicken is going to snake hunt stay tuned to this one hopefully it'll be a good down here somewhere outside Abbeville. I'm not going to disclose the location. But I'm here with Ed, a buddy of mine. He'll come down here and do a little little work on the deer club and look for some snakes. So here we are. How long have y'all had this place? Just got it. This first year? Yes. Oh, okay. So they've done a ton of work down here. Wet wood and rubber boots just don't seem to... It's a recipe for slipping off in there. We're going to dock him in it, though. <laughs> I'm guessing you socks are one. <laughs> Go on, get it now. <laughs> that water's about two and a half feet right now. <laughs> out here in the georgia woods come up on this piece of wood we're gonna check her out much for that one. This 
is it, huh? Yep. Alrighty. This is a stand where Ed Scott and them came down a couple of weeks ago and found a bunch of rattlesnakes. So we're going to look again. There it is. There's a big old wasp nest in there. What? Big old wasp nest in there. Do what now? They had snakes laying there. Oh, they were little bitty things, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Yeah, she had probably just had babies under there. Some, oh, yeah. There's some more on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they would, we would see them by now, probably. Snakes don't hang around after something like that. Ooh, I bet that was funny. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That thing is gone. Look at that. That's crazy. Probably fire ants, right? There's an auger bit. Did you ever see that? Oh no, that's a that's an anchor. That's it usable. It evidently didn't work. That was probably the anchor for that stand. It probably was. Very usable, I imagine. Yeah, Josh. Well, we're going to keep looking. All right, I've just found another piece of tin laying here. I'm going to pry it up and look. Let's see what we can get here. No way. Look at all the fire ants. Good night. That's some serious fire ants right there. Forget that. See that fire ant mound under there? I'd lay it right up there, Ed. Just lay it right up there. Curve side up. I see another piece of roofing material over here. I'm going to go check. Oh, yeah, there's. <laughs> Good green. Yeah. Saw that. Man. This is a have you ever seen this over here? There's a great big piece of roofing material laying here. If there is gonna be a snake in somewhere, it's gonna be right here. Because it's open and it's been here a long time. Yeah. I bet that's where that tripod was. Yeah, this is a roofing off of something. I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, you mind switching rolls from that end? If you can grab the other side of that and try to pull it up with that. Let me see this. And, uh, may have to dump this camera, y'all. Yeah, it's been there a long time. Oh, 
Whoa, whoa. Nope, keep going. That's all that too. That root. Yep. I don't hear any noise. Golly. Dude, I am shocked. Nothing. Well, it'd be good to lay back down somewhere else a little maybe higher off the ground on top of some weeds or something. That rod is though. But it'll still work. Alright, I'm gonna back out of here. This is some snaky territory, y'all. For real. Just trying to find uh, any kind of material laying down in here. Look at that. Woo wee. Well, I guess this I ain't snake related, but a uh, promising deer spot. Look here, y'all. The buck has shredded the bottom of this tree. A little scrape already. Well, there went our theory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, because it's warm down here. Anyway, see if we can find something. Woo, look at this big old hole, man. This old stump hole that deteriorated over the years. That's deep. I'd say it's been there a while. Yeah. Old boot. It's Native American to me. Yeah, they harvested latex rubber and made boots out of them. They made the first pair. Yeah. It's a dense place down there. You get off of this beaten path, man, it is dense here. Yeah, I thought it was here. It's all over the place. Paying attention where I'm going is important. Because we know there's rattlesnakes here. Fly that with a drone and see if that's a good spot for a deer stand. Oh yeah. The edge of them pines. Yep, that'd be. Into this thicket. Get the drone and we could see everything down here. Looks like it's clouding up. I think there's one more piece of wood down here we can see. All right. All right, this is what we found right here. Pull that thing up. Hmm. Nothing. Well, pull it back all the way. I, know, I mean, I'm sure there's nothing there, but slick on the bottom. You know what? Probably instead of putting that right there. Let's take that and throw it in one of those open areas because it's kind of going to waste right here as far as the snake aspect of it. See that hole of water in there right there? Yeah. See it? Oh, yeah. It's pretty wild. Dude, you could get in trouble walking around in here if you weren't paying attention. <laughs> well, oh, here we go again. All right, so we're rolling down the road. 
And guess what I found here? If you can see it. Nice big fat copperhead. He's biting himself. Okay, if you'll show See that hook here. adult copperhead probably 24 inches long it ain't happy hey mission accomplished came to find snakes and we found one very cool Woo! that was exciting <laughs> <laughs> yep all good is that it yeah. good caught <laughs> Woo! all righty fun stuff see if we can do that again so that was fun keep my eyes peeled on the road again sometimes when you least expect it we were headed out sure enough big fat copperhead across the road I think I scared Ed half to death yelling about it. Nevertheless, caught. And we didn't get bit doing it. <laughs> anyway, once you start doing this stuff, those patterns, you know, just like the timbers, you'll never forget, subconsciously, you'll never forget that pattern. And the next time you see one, you're going to know exactly what it is. It's just like that copperhead. My eye went right to it, and it's just... You don't forget that stuff. It's pretty neat. If we'd have been 30 seconds ahead of ourselves, we'd have never found him. Because he was just coming out into the road. That was pretty cool. Gets a heart racing a little bit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Got you a present, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We had a good day, me and Ed, down there snake hunting in Georgia, messing around on the hunting land. But the day has come to an end. I'm headed back to the house. I'd like to thank Ed for taking me down there and, you know, being being successful on a snake hunt, you know, it was kind of a, I don't know, lucky, really. Um, don't always find one crossing gravel road coming out of where you're hunting them at but anyway successful in nonetheless it was a lot of fun got a nice big copperhead got to see one of them get to play around in the woods just can't beat it but anyway i enjoyed it i really appreciate you guys watching if you like this video you know Give me a comment. See what. Let us know what you thought. If you want more of this kind of thing, or, or whatever. But it's just more of the uh, outdoor adventures. They get more outdoor than tromping through the snake woods, deer woods, turkey woods. I mean the woods. But it was thick in there. So. But anyway, we'll do it again. Hopefully, uh, we put some tin out. So maybe go back down there sometime soon and inspect those places that we kind of prepared and 
see what we find. So, anyway, appreciate everybody watching and uh, stick with us. We'll keep doing some stuff. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later. All right, I've come out here to release the snake Ed and I caught the other day. Get another shot of him in the barrel here. It's a nice little copper head. So we're going to be releasing them out here in the middle of nowhere. And I'll try not to stir him up. All right. Oh, go on, that's what we're doing. You're free, buddy. all safe and sound out in the wild and nobody got bit it's what we want